This is still a very nice pillar. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Bring your best decks because we're going to the Pokemon Dome and nothing will stop us then. Maybe. I mean, you do have pretty hard decks to beat, but anyway, let's talk to this guy. Portly Man! Rod has finally returned, so the final cup can begin at last. Yes, I'm going to win the four cards of legend from the Grandmasters! Uh, I hate to break it to you, but if you don't get in there within like a couple seconds, I'm, I'm going to kind of go and win them from... Too late! <laughs> So you have the Challenge Cup music going on, and yeah, bring your best deck, as I said. Start with a water deck, actually. I've already got my Paralyzed deck, which reminds me... I was actually thinking that I should change it to my original deck idea here. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I, wanted, I only had that other name because of the joke. <laughs> and... Wait, how do I get a space in this? Okay, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, I only had the paralyzed name in there as a joke for that fe that one deck, so that that, that the kind of kind of lost its uh, context for a while now. So I should have changed it by then. I was gonna call it the Stop It deck because it's more than just paralysis. It's got the uh, uh, energy removal as well. So yes, and that's also the deck that I'm gonna be starting with because our first duelist is gonna be Courtney, which uses fire. So yeah. Oh ho ho! All the Grandmasters have been assembled at last! Let's start the final cup! Win the Pokémon Cards of Legend! But Mint, don't be careless. Oh, I, I just thought of something. Did I miss some dialogue here? Like, not coming back after I got a bunch of the Grandmasters... Like, but before I got Rod? Hmm... Hmm... Maybe I did. Hey Mint, Rod's finally back. You know what that means? We're okay to set up the final cup. You're here to win the Pokemon Cards of Legend from us, right? That's the theory! That guy still hasn't stormed in by now, but the Pokemon Cards of Legend are bestowed to the final cup's victor. If you're interested, speak with our leader, Rod. Okay. So yeah, save before you even start this, because if you should fail at any of the duels, you kinda will have to wait before the next final cup will start, which is pretty annoying. So yes, and also save in between duels. Mint, I've been expecting you. You should try your best to meet with King Deal see me on GR Island. Well, I tried! <laughs> That's the only way to make Team GR change your terrible ways. You leave the Pokémon cards of legend to have a duel with Villasini. So let's start the final cup! Well, assuming you're prepared. No. That's fine. Make your preparations and return when you feel ready. Remember, the only one who cap we're, we're all, you're the only one capable of taking down Team GR. Mint, unless you defeat the four of us, it's not possible to get the Pokemon Cards of Legend. Same dialogue at that point. Very well, let's enter the finals hall. Alright, so, got your water deck? Good. Good. Let's go. And also, hopefully, you get some good draws, but that's the point of saving between these, or, let's see, before each of these duels, so yeah. Anyway, alright, Mint, let's begin the final cup. We are the Grandmasters, Keepers of the Pokémon Cards of Legend. Without defeating all four of us, you can't earn the Cards of Legend. Let's begin. First, you'll, def you'll, def you'll duel Courtney. I was going to say you'll defeat Courtney. Well, I mean, that is probably what I'll do, but... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm your first opponent, Courtney of the Flame. Take a seat, Mint. Oh, oh. Don't get comfy. Let's start the six prize card duel. And... As you'll notice, she's got different deck names, she's got a different deck. Yeah, normally they're like Legendary Moltres, Legendary Articuno, etc, etc for all their Legendary cards, but they actually got different names for different decks. But she's still got that annoying Coin Flip Nine Tails. <laughs> so, expect to be waiting through a lot of Coin Flips, and you're not gonna be happy with that. Oh, yes! <laughs> okay, I also got Wigglytuff, but... I might actually go... well... Mm, I think I'll go with Jigglypuff first, because I think I'll, I'll get the most use out of Dragonair because of the Hyper Beam. And call it a turn. So yeah, the idea of the Hyper Beam is because she's got Fire Pokémon, they kind of have to do a lot of energy discards. 
so that's gonna be in my advantage if I'm hyper beaming them. And she's already got the legendary Moltres here, so it's got the power of Fire Giver. You get one to four fire energy cards in your deck chosen at random, and we shall see what she gets. Hopefully she gets the minimal. <laughs> she usually gets like two or three. Uh, she got two there. So yeah, the idea of that is not only to keep her fire Pokemon powered up, but also to thin her deck so her draws in the future are that much more strong. So yeah, that could be a thing. <laughs> um, let's see here. Should I just immediately start powering up for the Dragonair? I probably should. But, I've got a Professor Oak, so let's try the Lullaby and see if we can prevent Vulpix from using its Confusory in general. So, very nice! Because then maybe I could also Wigglytuff after I Professor Oak as well, because I'll be evolving into Wigglytuff soon anyway. Because, like, you know, it's a, like, let's do like a double strategy going on here. And see, oh, we got another Professor Oak. And let's see how things turn out that way. So let's plop another on there. Plop that there, plop that there, and should I should I wait the super energy removal? Like she's probably gonna go for powering up one of those two twice, so I should probably go for that, cause you know just like the sapper energy cards rather than just immediately Professor Oak. I mean I can't do the wave right now anyway, so we are in good shape anyway, and. Vulpix is awakened! That is a bad for me-ish! Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go do that. I mean, yeah, I will have to wait another turn to do my thing, but... I'm still, still got a Professor Rogue anyway, so... <laughs> Just kinda wiping that out. Oh, and I should also show you Moltres' attack. It's got Dive Bomb, 3 for 70. That sounds powerful, until you realize... It may do nothing, so it's unreliable, but it could be pretty useful considering it's easy to power up, especially with its own power of... yeah, so... <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's right. Um, oh, actually, I should probably do that to prevent any sort of rebuttal, because Confusory requires the two energies. So yeah, let's just do that to be safe and lullaby just for the fun of it. And it wakes up, that's okay. <laughs> she might actually just end up switching, but as I'm gonna surprise her with a powered up bench for the waving, <laughs> it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So here is where I do the surprise. She's like, oh no! Oh no, I should have had something with higher HP. Oh no! And yeah, I'm done with the energy. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> It's like, I see an energy, I uh, place an energy, I guess, at least I try. So I yeah, scoop up, really. Oh, that's for her Moltres. Yeah, that's that's a combo that a lot of the Grandmasters use, that they use scoop up to, to repeatedly put their legendary critters back in play, because she can get more fire out of it, as well as, um, well, whatever I mean, whatever ability they have, just in general. Uh, like, the legendary Articuno has the ability to paralyze when it comes into play. The legendary Zapdos can do damage when it comes into play with Peel of Thunder. And the legendary Dragonite can do some heals. But, well, not really that concerned about them, like, as a whole, because we're kinda... We're kinda okay, in general. Like, is it... they're... they've only got their decks built for one particular critter. So... We should be alright in that regard, because you don't have to deal with all of them at once, so they're not going to be like scooping up everything. You just have to focus on that one legendary, basically, to counter them. And smokescreen... Well, I guess there's not much to counter when it comes to the legendary Moltres, other than just preventing it from powering up, and powering up the others if you can, but, you know, it's randomized whether or not it'll do that, so... Eh. Uh... Hmm. 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 Now I'll just try. I'll just continue trying to do the way. I was thinking maybe I should play the other basic for maximum damage, but nah. She she probably can't heal that much. <laughs> she can scoop up that much. Uh, in fact, I think she saves the scoop ups exclusively for the Moltres because of the powers of the fires. So. Mm hmm. 
Well, maybe I should play that, because I get you know, I get general a good amount of water. Mm. Yeah, wave. <laughs> and the Magmar gets knocked out. Very nice. So yeah, with this wiggly top here, I'm pretty sure I'm in pretty good shape. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have any on the Moltres. So she's using the Moltres just as a stalling tactic, because it's got a lot of HP. So yeah, 100 HP, but that's two waves. Not that big of a deal then, if you think about it. <laughs> but you know, Wigglytuff is kind of, kind of on the aggro side of things, so you can kind of expect a lot of damage to come from our cute little puff here. Um, mm, I could immediately evolve the seal into Dugong. I'm like, nah. I think that I prefer having seals attacks out and ready to go later on, but you know, I uh, I have water. I'm just, I don't know, I just went straight to Wigglytuff anyway, and, and Dragonair, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm using Colorless, but I, I actually should be using water because of the sake of their weaknesses, but I'm doing so much damage with Wigglytuff. It's like, you can't go wrong with this thing, because nothing resists Colorless Pokemon anyway, you know? And I'm probably eventually gonna run out of luck with my coin flips. And then I'll have to go over to the Dragonair. Uh, I could Super Energy remove that Vulpix. Which is tempting, because it sounds like she's planning something in regards to that. So I'll do that. There we go, and maybe... Maybe... We can knock out a Magmar. Another good coin flip, wow. That's a lot of luck on my part, and I'm not used to this. I'm used to being lick a tongue into oblivion. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like we're gonna end this game one prize early with a do the wave for the victory! Woo! Woo! Happy days! So Steve should be next. Lightning critters are coming. Oh ho ho! I give. I lost the duel. Nice going, Mint. But you kind of had no choice but to give. I'm gonna... Yeah. Your next battle is against Steve, Mint. Hey, Mint. Let's have a Pokemon card battle. I'll show you the way they call me Thundering Steve. Mint, would you like to change your deck? Why, yes I would, because I'd like to show you something else. Aha, uh -huh, you can not only change your deck, but you can also save your game in between these duels. So, we're gonna select the Swift deck, because he's got the power of Lightning. We have the power of the fighting, so that seems like a good idea. Save our game, and it's not not like we're expecting that we will have, uh, like we will be able to use fighting all the time, because the legendary Zapdos is resistant to fighting, but we also have the other critters as well. But anyway, Mint, would you like to change it? No. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I misclicked. Okay, then you may start the battle against Steve. Well, I shouldn't say I misclicked, I didn't press it hard enough. Six prize cards sounds good to me. Ready? Let's go! Legendary Fossil deck. What the poop is the Legendary Fossil? Well, we shall see. We shall actually, you can see the deck list on the side. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go for. Ooh. That's bad. <laughs> it's. It's, uh, yeah. It doesn't quite have. Any sort of resistance to lightning and... Oh, he's got this Zapdos played first, interesting. And, well, I got Hitmonchan. I should probably immediately switch to that. Yeah, I probably should have switched out the uh, Spearow, come to think of it, but I thought maybe they might be useful in some circumstances. Maybe, maybe. And hopefully you will not get heads, because I'm hoping I can sleep you pretty quick. <laughs> Like maybe a Spearow could be useful against a Zapdos. I don't know. Anyway, I should probably I should probably build and oh, Macho Crew. Well, let's. Mm. Well, I definitely should start powering up Spearow in general. But I was thinking that maybe I could get a Machop for that in general. So I should use the Lightning on the Spearow. And yeah, and then he's gonna basically switch over to Zapdos by necessity. And it would have been the ideal situation anyway, because it's got resistance to my fighting critter, so yeah. And oh, Voltorb's out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're kind of 
Then I gotta think about things here. Because we can't, I mean, we can jab, but I mean that, yeah. The thing about it that Zapdos is it requires a lot of energy. It's got the Raging Thunder. But, but, hopefully we can do some damage to that Zapdos and get something else in the meantime before that should go. By the way, I cannot immediately retreat because, yeah, two energy cards, so. And Zapdos. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, scoop up. Oh, that might actually be... Hmm. Because if I use scoop up, I can immediately put out Spearow. I'll lose the fighting energy anyway, but I'll be able to save one in the future. And then I'll also have extra energy. And actually, oh wait, that's not going to help at all, because it's going to do double damage. And wing attack. So yeah, we're just kind of... The aim is to whittle down that, that Zapdos, and if we should fail, well, remember we saved their games. <laughs> and 30 damage to his own critter. Yeah, that would have done 80 with the defender, so... And Volta, wow, Volt, that's, yeah, Voltorb is gonna be taking a ton of poop. <laughs> oh, sure, now he give me Fearow. Wouldn't have mattered, though, but... Uh, yeah, plop that on there, and also Defender for the turn. I could not really do any damage, but I could attack for the fun of it. <laughs> But yeah, the Defender is mainly just there to kind of set things up for the potential of the future savings. Because yeah, I got a little bit of extra... Ooh, Gust of Wind. He might just actually switch, though. Hmm. I could try and abuse the AI. Like, switch with Voltorb and then not attack. He's probably just going to switch anyway, but might as well try. Because I'm kind of in an awkward spot due to the opening hand and whatnot. So I might just end up having that. Oh, wow, really? I might just end up having to reset the Game Boy. Which I did not. Okay, so. If he's not going to, should I just leave it as is? Like, I was trying to abuse the AI, but. <laughs> this might actually work. Wow, this might actually work out here. Uh, yeah, I just want some more energy, so I guess I'll just. Leave the Voltor B if he's not gonna attack with it or, or switch with it or anything like that. Uh, I guess I could plop that on there. And. Done? I'm thinking what I'll do is uh, just keep stalling this out as long as I can and abuse said AI. Oh, I use my lightning dance. So yeah, as long as that's gonna happen, you know, I might as well. I mean, otherwise I would have just reset the Game Boy anyway. And this <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, I'll just keep at that. <laughs> it's, it's sort of cheapo, cheapo, but I don't know. I mean, it's, if you're in a bad spot, you might as well try and have fun with it, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just keep at it. He's expecting me to be. I wonder if that's actually something that I can use. Like, I wonder if that's something that the AI trait uses in general. Like, it automatically leaves a weak Pokemon out so that you knock it out but doesn't power it up with anything. And got a peel of thunder off. That was the ability of the legendary Zapdos. Um. But the issue with that Zapdos, and I consider this Zapdos to be one of the worst cards in the game because of that. Uh, the Peel of Thunder, it does the damage at random. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you can also hit your own Pokémon with that. And also Big Thunder, it does 70 damage to that Pokémon, you can choose anything. So that could be pretty powerful there, but it's that Peel of Thunder that he's mainly going for, and that uh, Thunder Crash is now going to be at the maximum. Hmm. Hmm. I could use some more power here. <laughs> like maybe I should go for uh Machoke Machamp. Oh, oh that's right, I got the Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, mm, should I well that went mm. I'm just, mm. I'll just continue abusing the AI. <laughs> Energy retrieval. Mm, Zapdos. And Hitmonchan. So yeah, he's getting a lot of stuff powered up here uh, because of my stalling. So it's, my stalling may not be as effective as I'm hoping in general, so... <laughs> and we'll see, though. Mm, switch. 
that could be useful for the future. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't actually decided to attach an energy. Or wait, did he run out of energy? Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that was as, as a response to his draw. So yeah, I would, if I was him, I would keep powering up stuff as well, but... Yeah, we're kind of in a, a spot of doom here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're stalling. Not that useful in general. <laughs> so yeah, let's knock that out, and he'll probably put the, yeah, the Zapdos back in, and... He might actually hurt himself in this... Well, okay, that also, that also might hurt himself as well. Let's see how Peel of Thunder... Yep, it hurt himself. That took damage to his own Voltorb. And... Raging Thunder... Wait, why didn't you use the other... Or did... Oh, wait, oh no, he doesn't it discard energy if you use the other one? Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, Zapdos is... Gonna chew away at stuff, and... <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'll put it in the Voltorb, because whatever I put it out will be knocked out anyway. Let's see the Thunder Crash. Uh, okay, because he doesn't want to do damage to himself. But I figured that he might... Well... I figured he might want to do damage to... Oh, no, yeah, yeah, I thought it was, like, Bench Pokemon. I was, I'm just misreading stuff, but anyway. Uh, I'll put Spiro down there. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I can... Just keep attacking with the same critter, if at all possible. But like it just, I should say keep attacking with whatever I can, if at all possible. But I'm not really in. I'm probably not gonna win this, and I'll just have to reset the Game Boy in general. But yeah, it's just the thing of just trying to see what the options I have, despite the horrendous start. <laughs> oh well. Uh. Mm. Not even damaging your own bench Pokemon, so I can't even rely on that. <laughs> Alright, so you're up. You're up next, I suppose. Uh, yeah, not really... Not really capable of doing much more, like, even with... Because uh, I got the lack of energy cards in general, too, so... And Fossil Excavation, the plop out the mysterious fossil uh, The Zapdosa, Raging Thunder, uh, of course. Go ahead, do your 100. Yeah, I'm not really seeing a uh, victory in this game. <laughs> so that's why you save before the duels, in case you have a lot of bad luck. And I guess I'll put in the Hitmonchan for the sake of stalling. And... Uh, what about... Just thinking here. Agonizing... I mean, I could go for the Paralysis, like, in, in future turns. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, oh, and yes, I, it, it didn't, there was no point to really powering up the uh, Spearow or anything like that. I'll do that, and yeah, because yeah, the Spearow was just kind of there, <laughs> and I could have Dark Fear Road, but that was, uh, yeah. Mm. So, that's, got the minus, yeah, the 20, uh, the 22 itself, plus the plus power does do a knockout, so... Alright, maybe we have something now! Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Um, hmm. I had to have the switch now. Because, yeah, that's. Well, that Zapdos could be. Uh, it's probably over. <laughs> I was gonna say that's. I have the switch, but he's probably just saving that. I could, you know, I was gonna go Machoke and. Hmm. I probably should at least go for. The Macho Switch in general. There we go. <laughs> uh, not gonna Professor Oak just yet. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna wait to attack because of AI abuse <laughs> and just let it speedball. He might actually switch into his Aptos and just ruin my plan in general. Uh, probably going. Yeah, I was gonna say going for Lightning as I would have done as well. Uh, ooh, Electabuzz, that's not helpful. Oh, yeah, there's a switch. Yeah. This one is probably a lost cause. Lost cause, or maybe not. Wait, the wait, 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 hold on a sec. Isn't it choose a Pokemon at random? Uh, yeah, uh... But didn't... But he had... 
I mean, I guess that's possible to do. But I was thinking that maybe, um... Oh, maybe I could win that way. <laughs> he just knocks out his own Pokémon. But yeah, I was thinking that he was just gonna end up knocking out stuff, and... Yeah, that's another reason why that Zapdos is such a bad card, because it might actually wipe him out. Oh, and by the way, the, uh... Um... Don't apply weakness and resistance for stuff. So, yeah, it's not really any way to hide from anything. Uh, if you're using anything else. But, okay, I'm gonna go then. And... I guess I'll go for the Paralysis. Yeah, how's that sound? That sounds uh, good to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is kind of a weird battle, because I, now I'm thinking maybe I can win this. <laughs> um, hmm. I mean, if he's, just, if he's gonna, you know, thunder and miss all the time, yeah. Um, should I just go straight over to Machamp? Or should I try and power up other critters? Probably should go for other critters. Because, yeah, I can at least do some possible paralysis. And if I'm... Yeah, I mean, it, he, he's just going to use it whenever he can use it, so... I could end up winning because of that. The thunder... Yeah, let's just hope for the best then, I guess. <laughs> Alright, big thunder! It actually hit his own play area again. Oh my, Arceus! <laughs> oh jeez, I was... Wow, I was totally expecting the need to reset the Game Boy. Uh, like, a bunch of turns ago. <laughs> maybe, maybe we're okay. Um, Defender wouldn't help on that. Actually, um, Defender wouldn't help very much in general, because I can't predict what the poop he's going to use. Uh... I could go for that Machamp. I mean, he just may finish himself off. And, yeah. And... I, I, let's see what... Wait, wait. I just want to see here. I'm thinking if I should trade into something. But I don't think that's very helpful. <laughs> so maybe I'll just dump my hand out on various things here. Nah, I'm not going to attack anyway. Uh, I'm not going to... Put in the Spearow. It's, it's weak against Lightning. Let, let's be honest. I should have swapped those out. So it's all right. Uh, and actually, maybe I should have. I mean, I shouldn't put anything on the bench because that increases the chance that he'll be using the, his Thunder Crash on his own critters. So I guess I'll just leave those in my hand then, and uh, hope for the best. It would be his own fault if he if he destroys himself, right? Alright, so it worked on Machamp, and it took 10 damage from the strikes back. As expected, that's part of why I went over to Machamp, just in case. And we're gonna go Seismic Toss to do as much damage as I can to the Zapdos. It has resistance, but I can still get through a little bit. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Pull back to full health, and... Uh, okay, got my Machamp, but we shall see how it turns out on the next turn. Uh, I could do a little scratch damage with Hitmonchan. <laughs> uh, well, maybe I could do scratch damage, assuming I can get another fighting energy. And there's a fighting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to put any more on the bench, just going to special punch for 10 damage. whoop de doo <laughs> Uh, this is a... this is... Co oh, oh, whoa, you put a Pokémon on the bench, did you? Oh, man! Oh, man! <laughs> well... Well... He did himself in! <laughs> Just in general! <laughs> oh, jeez! That... That one may go down in history. <laughs> it's one of my favorite games. <laughs> You're the winner. You did great. Thank you. I, I did, yes. <laughs> You're impressive, Mint. Your next duel is with Jack. <laughs> I won't lose this time. Not with the full power of my gorgeous deck. 
Enchantment. Would you like to change your deck? Yes, I would like to. Because I'm actually going to save my game and end off part here. Because that was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and I'm keeping this part for all of eternity. <laughs> So, with that, I'm ending off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I battle Jack and Rod.